Hello my friends, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Now in this video we're going to go over the new updates to the Lightroom 4 Preset System version 1.2 update, uh, which is available right now. So if you guys don't have it yet, be sure to email us. Uh, if you already have purchased the Preset System, you can email us at contact at srlounge, include a copy of your original purchase confirmation, and we'll get the new update to you right away. Now let's start with the My Mixology folder. Now in this folder we've made a few adjustments to existing presets. So under the Soft Portrait and Vivid Landscape categories, the first three presets in each category has been modified just to be a little more refined, you could say. So in the Standard Color, for example, the Standard Color Soft Portrait preset, when we were applying this to images, we found that uh, a lot of users based on, let's say they had images that were coming out more saturated to begin with, the additional boost and vibrance was adding a little bit too much saturation, particularly over skin. So we're getting a little bit of funky skin tones uh, just from that preset. So we basically modified the vibrance and saturation on these just to be a little bit more universal. Same thing with Vivid Landscape, we just modified them to be a little bit more universal, so they should work a little bit better. Now moving down, we have changed the number 40 category to, I think it was color fades, we've changed it to vintage fades because we found that we were basically having two different categories which were essentially the same thing. We had color fades, which are vintage looks, and we created another category which was for vintage fades, which are color fades. So we just grouped it all up uh, and we added the, we, I think there was uh, two additional presets that we have created that we added into the 1.2 update for warm punchy vintage and subtle poppy vintage. They might have been called something else in the videos and so we'll post what they were called previously, because we changed the name of them, so I don't want anybody to be confused. So we'll post what they were called previously in the article itself, uh, so you guys can figure that out and know that we didn't skip out anything. Um, if we kind of encounter, sometimes we'll do preset system uh, mixologies, and we kind of will later on decide that maybe they're not good enough to include in the preset system. That's why maybe now and then you'll come across an old video with a preset that basically isn't included in the system because we might have removed it, it might not have been one of our favorites and so we just didn't include it with that Mixology folder. But if you guys like those presets and you don't see it in the preset system, you guys can always go and just watch the video, follow the steps, and save it as a Mixology and everything like that. So just so you guys know, most of the rest of them will be included. Some of them might have different names and stuff, but they're all there. All right, so that's it for the My Mixology folder. Let's close this out and let's go to the base adjustments. Now in the base adjustments, we've added a couple of additional settings, mainly under detail now we have one additional setting for heavy softened skin. This is really meant for say close up portraits where you want an additional level of skin softening. So say light soften isn't enough for this image, we wanna go one other additional step and go to heavy skin soften. So it just gives you an another step beyond light skin softening. Um, also, we have made some minor tweaks to just some of the settings, but overall it's really quite subtle, the tweaks that we've made. If you drop down in the base adjustments, you'll see a new category, which is 80 tools. Now, in this category, we're going to include whatever tools that we have for making certain uh, adjustments to images, uh, just basically tools that you guys have for developing. We've included an advanced dust correction curve, and we'll show you guys how to use that in additional uh, in, a, in a side tutorial. And basically what that curve is there to do is to help you all in identifying hard to see dust spots that basically you wouldn't notice until an image is blown up and it comes out in a print and you go, oh crap, there's dust there that I see now that I couldn't see back when it was on my computer screen. So it helps you to identify and remove these hard to see uh, dust spots or on your sensor or on your lens. That's it for the base adjustments. Now let's go over the last major change. Now the last major change is in regards to the curves. We've basically gone through every single curve from neutral all the way down to antique curves and we've modified each one of them. What we wanted to do here is we wanted to basically make uh, the bright washes, neutral washes, all the different effects, we wanted to make them more subtle so that they kind of are more universal. But at the same time, we wanted to make them more differentiated from one another. So we were noticing that the bright washes compared to the neutral washes were just a bit too similar. Neutral washes compared to the punches, like the vintage punches and dark washes were a bit too similar. So we've modified everything so that they are more differentiated from one another, but also they are more subtle and so they work better just over a larger variety of images. All right, so that's it for the develop presets. Let's go over a couple of the new brush presets that we've added. I'm gonna go back and select this image, and one of my favorite new additions is, I'm gonna show you guys, it's this uh, Unenhanced HDR Skin, number 16, which we put it under the Detail Enhancer category because it's actually like a reverse Detail Enhancer. So we figured it belongs kind of in that category, plus our, 
retouching category got filled up already. We don't have any more space in there. But let's show you what that does real quick. So basically what we started to notice was that a lot of people like the HDR preset when they you know, apply to images that have subjects or people in them. But the problem is when you apply that preset, it does funky things with the skin tones. Okay, so we have like a lot of oversaturation and just kind of crazy colors in the skin tones. So by selecting this 16 unenhanced HDR skin with a brush, you can basically paint back over the skin tones in an area like this, and it's going to bring it back to a natural tone on the skin. So we call it DHDR, unhdrfi your uh, skin tones, all right? So when you drag this over, you do wanna make sure that you drag this in a way that is pretty precise because it's a fairly heavy brush effect. And so if you don't, if it's kind of a sloppy painting job, it's gonna be noticeable. So make sure that when you bring this over, it, it looks nice and everything and you kind of refine that edge well. But we don't need to do that here. Well, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of the differences. So there's that, I'm gonna remove that and you can see how it was originally. So it looks really nice now. We can apply these HDR effects to images like this and we can remove the effect from the skin tone so we still have nice natural skin tones. Just make a few adjustments and we're good to go. Now, another change to our brushes. We have done a little bit of reorganization in the retouching. Basically what we did was we removed uh, the catch light. We had two catch light creators uh, for basically different types of looks. We had one for softbox versus flash. Since we figured you're not often creating catch lights, we just removed these and re replaced it with one single catch light creator and then you can kind of mimic different catch lights just by adjusting the settings a tiny bit. Uh, we left the catch light enhancer which just does overall enhancing. So we created one additional slot and we added in skin desaturator which basically helps to just pull a little bit of the saturation out of skin tone areas that have you know, like the shadows and skin tones that become a little bit too orange, a little bit too red, it'll help to kind of pull those out and you just kind of paint over those areas. All right, so that's it for all the updates in the Lightroom 4 preset system version 1.2. Remember when installing updates that you completely remove the existing installation of the preset system with the exception of whatever mixologies that you created on your own. Leave those in there. And then what you're gonna do is replace everything else with the new system. You don't wanna leave anything in there because sometimes names change. And if you just drag and drop the new update into your folders, you're gonna have duplicates of a lot of things because some of the names have changed and they won't fully overwrite what was previously there. All right, so remember to remove everything but the mixologies and replace with your updates. All right, we'll see you all with the next video.